<laughs> yes. Oops. <laughs> Oops. Oops. Hey there. Hello, hello. 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 Hey. Hey. Good evening, hello. everyone. Yes. Yes. Nice to see you again. So wow. here we are. Huh? Wow. So miracles <laughs> do happen. <laughs> oh. Miracles do happen. Oh my God. Hi, teacher. Oh. Hey, people. Hello there. Good evening. <laughs> good evening, teacher. <laughs> so I'm seeing you guys now in advance. That is great. Very, very yeah, good. Okay. Okay, people. So good evening um, to all of you. Good evening to the ones that I know. Good evening to the ones I don't know just yet. Um, welcome. Welcome back to another of our courses. Today, we're going to be getting started with the advanced level one. And okay. uh, well, let me tell you, this is going to be a fun ride. You know, some of you have already been here before uh, and you know how it rolls and some others maybe have not. But um, there are a couple of things that, of course, are very important for us to take into account. Um, one of them is that in these lessons, one of the things that I would love to, um, to work harder on is going to be um, your participation. You know, um, you have gotten to a level where I think most of us are going to have the ability to express our ideas or our opinions in a fluent way. And uh, I would like that to be the main point of our course, you know, have that confidence and build up all that confidence in yourselves so that you can express yourself um, in the best way possible. Um, as per usual, there is something that I ask from every group. You guys have been here before, many of you at least, and you already know it, it is the fact that, um, well, I will always advise you to be helpful you know, to try and work together with the team, work with um, the, the classmates, because, well, languages, all of them are a community, you know. Whenever you're learning a language, you're doing it because you want to be able to communicate with people who speak the same language. And if we, who are part of the same community of Spanish-speaking people, don't help one another on, you know, the venture of learning another language, we're not going to get any farther. Um, but for example, if you have ever um, heard of people who know 15 languages, but they have a bad attitude, it doesn't matter that they have all those 15 languages, but maybe they are not able to communicate with other people. So the most important thing for us here is going to be that, you know, being helpful. I, I know most of you and I know you are. So I'm very glad, you know, to be working with you once again. Uh, and yeah, it's going to be a very amazing experience, I hope. Um, but yeah, well, for those who haven't really been here before, I will do a quick um, introduction on some of the boring aspects of this um, course, which are going to be some of the rules, you know. I'm going to be relatively quick with this because I don't want to spend too much time on, uh, on all of this. I want to get back on track into working and uh, get you guys speaking. Today, we're going to be actually practicing a very fun activity, at least in my opinion, it is very fun. Um, so yeah, some of the things we have to consider. Well, your full names on the platform, that is key, um, as I don't want to be calling you by things like Viva el Barça 503 or, or something like that, you know. I want to be um, calling you by your name. So that's key, very, very important. Um, another thing is the cameras. This is for two reasons, and you guys maybe already know this. One of them is because um, very quite often, we're going to be supervised by InsaForp, and they want to see that you guys are there. You know, they don't want, they are not expecting you to like, just log into your computers, and maybe as soon as you log in, you start playing on your phone, and it's like, yeah, the class is there, but I'm not there. So I want you guys to be there. And the other reason is because, of course, uh, when we're going to be practicing, we have to see, you know, that uh, we're actually talking to, to someone and who is that someone? Because that is uh, a very cool way also of improving, um, well, the main thing that we're going to be aiming for in this course, which is confidence. See, la confianza es algo que se construye, ¿verdad? También así. Um, actually, we're going to talk about that in the activity that I mentioned. Then the ambient sound, you guys already know how important it is. I think 
may basically all of you are um or have been working with uh, Corporativo before and know that these classes are recorded and also uploaded on YouTube. And whenever we have incidents, like there's music playing in the background, um, there's like a party maybe going on and people have um, music that is copyrighted, we can get a strike. If we get a strike, well, that is trouble. Um, so yeah, we don't want trouble. The next one is active participation. Well, that is basically a favor that I'm going to be asking from you, but also it's going to be a commitment that I will be putting into the lessons. I am commit to um, helping you out, to guiding you into becoming more fluent and more confident. Esta vez sí voy a hablar mucho, mucho acerca de eso, porque pues ya hablando de eh, niveles avanzados, ¿verdad? La confianza es quizá lo que más tratamos de construir. El... Um, no que se la piquen, pero sí que se la crean, ¿sí? O sea, diferente, ¿verdad? No se no los apiquemos, pero sí que nos la creamos. Okay, the next one is well, the doubts, the questions, the, the, the things in the air that may happen during a day. Always try to bring them on the class. Like whenever you see something that maybe is um, a new object, a new thing that you have seen, a new phrase, a new movie, and if you want to share that, um, for example, Why do some movies have a name in English, but they have a totally different name in Spanish? How does that happen? Well, maybe we can discuss that here in class. Those are the things that I want you guys to bring to the lessons, you know. And then practice as much as you can. This is always going to be important. I wasn't able to hear at the beginning of the lesson if you guys were speaking in English. I'm not sure if you were. Walter, were you guys speaking in English? Yeah, okay, cool, very nice. So if you guys were, that is a very, very good thing. Because yes, of, of course, we want to take the most, of the, well, make the most out of every second we have um, to practice English. So yeah, that is also going to be very important. Then this is something you guys already know, you know, you have to work on a platform and complete uh, all the tasks with a minimum of 80% of success. If you don't, well, Uh, you're going to have some issues, but you are already here. That means that you guys have done it so far. So very good, very, very good. Then um, you can work on the platform whenever you have the chance. It's not like a, a, a fixed schedule. It's not like an obligation on a specific time. You can do it whenever you have a chance. Um, breakout rooms are only for practices, not to go and talk about the soap opera, not to go and talk about how um, Barcelona is leading the Liga or La Liga, you know. And tonight or this, during this month, I think I'm going to be very toxic about that. So be ready, all of you guys who uh, follow Madrid. And then be on time on the lessons. This time around is not going to be necessarily because I have another class after, but because we're trying also to respect your time and the rest of your classmates' time. You know, we're trying to make the most out of that hour. You guys already know how these hours just fly by and sometimes we um, don't want them to end. But okay, so we are here. Eh, antes que nada, pues decirles, ¿verdad? Me alegra mucho tenerlos de vuelta a la mayoría de los que están acá, la mayoría ya trabajamos juntos, así que es un gusto, sí, verlos ahora en avanzado. Hoy no va a haber tanto, um, tanto, ¿cómo se llama? Español, but still. You know, we have to we have to make the most out of our time. Um, and it's also nice to see, you know, I, I, you guys remember, the, 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 most of you remember, I think, that I used to talk about a university I used to teach for. Um, so here I have, or we have, one classmate who is actually part of the second group of students that I had in the university. He's going to introduce himself later, um, but yeah. Uh, earlier today, I noticed in the in the group chat that um, he was actually here. And that is also the reason why I didn't say hi earlier. You know, I normally introduce myself um, before the class. I didn't because I wanted to see if you guys were going to be surprised when you saw me here. And actually, you did. But okay. So for all of those new faces, we're going to do an introduction because, of course, maybe we know one another with most of you but some other people here might not know um, each other. Therefore, we're going to be introducing ourselves. Now, the introduction is relatively simple. We have been through this so many times. 
but still it is very important as I have just mentioned. Practice is the only thing that can help you become better, be more confident, and also, well, uh, here I'm going to add something to the list. And I think it's going to be just express yourself. Express yourself. This, what is it going to be? Well, I'm going to tell you in a bit. Okay, so the name, the age, where you live, where you work, where you study, if you are only a student and not a uh, full-time worker, and a favorite phrase you may have in English. Maybe you have adopted just one. Maybe you have changed yours. And then in Express Yourself, I want you to share if you have, you know, like um, something that you consider to be very cool about yourself in English, like something that you have learned in English, something, something, or maybe one time when English has helped you in a specific occasion. So just express yourself. I just want you to take a, a tiny second to say something else in English, not only the obligated, I want you here to be creative. Sí, eso es lo que espero en esa parte, el express yourself. Just maybe tell a short story of one time when you were at the supermarket, you saw a word and you understood that word. So just that, you know, not something too long, not too short, but just a, a tiny practice, an extra practice there. So my introduction. Uh, hi, my name is Oscar Segovia. I am currently 26 years old. I live in San Miguel. I work, sorry, for Inglés Corporativo. And I will start studying uh, at uh, IRCA next Sunday. I will be studying a um, associate's degree on air conditioning. Okay, my favorite phrase in English is um, never say never. And uh, well, if I had to share something about English in my life is that I think in English. Normally, during my days, I normally think in English. And that is why... Sometimes I make mistakes when I'm speaking in Spanish. I um, tend to do that, you know. I make mistakes speaking in Spanish because my grammar in my mind is in English. But okay, uh, now, who would like to be the first person who introduced him or herself? <clears throat> okay, Sandra, I think. Okay, oh my God. Okay. Very good. Vamos con todos, Sandra. Good evening, good evening everybody. Good evening. I'm, I'm very happy to be with you again. Um, my name is Sandra Ramirez. Uh, well, my father's name was Palmer, you know. Mm -hmm. And well, I am 58 years old, almost 60. And I live in San Salvador and I work home. I study English uh, with English Corporativo. And my favorite phrase in English is uh, faith in God and go ahead. And, and, I, and I want to express that uh, learning English has, is, has been a very nice experience. Uh, during my life, I, I had the opportunity to work in several good places because of my English. Um, I continue studying because I love English and, and I know that uh, this language will serve to another people, you know? Okay. Uh, for example, in my church, my, my peoples in my church, uh, they like to sing in English, right? Okay. Very good. Very nice. Very, very good. Thank you. Thank you. You're All welcome. right. Who is up next? <clears throat> Let's see. Walter. Okay, yeah. Walter. Okay. Uh, Se van iluminando that... entonces ustedes mismos. <laughs> ustedes mismos. That's, that's great. Okay, Walter. <laughs> Good evening, guys. My name is Walter Ramos. I'm 40 years old. I live in Santa Ana City, near from uh, Quiteño's Stadium. Uh, I was working at the bank. I quit my job two years ago. Actually, uh, right now, my wife and me uh, put a new business about uh, typical food in my neighborhood. It's Ooh. a good it's oh. a good business. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, my, my favorite phrase is never back down, always forward. Mm -hmm. Always forward. And it's a pleasure to stay here. It's a pleasure okay. being here. Yeah. Yes, great, great, great. Okay, now now that you mentioned El Quiteño, I gotta say, we won today. 
Ah. <laughs> Aguila won today. So yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. And the other thing, are you guys on Google Maps or something? Like your business? Is is it on Google? No yet. No yet. Not yet? Oh, Not yet. okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because me and my family, we yeah. stayed, we actually stayed in Santa Ana, um, like on, on early yeah. January. It was like uh, January the 7th or something like that. And I was thinking of some of you who are actually from there because I was just walking in the park like at 10 p.m., something like that. We were on our way, on, on our way back home from Guatemala and we decided to stay there because it was very late. Uh, and yeah, it was very hard for us to find a hotel in Santa Ana. So it means that it is very, very um, attractive to tourists. Yeah. 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 Okay. Nice. Uh, okay. Who is up next, Walter? Where are you going okay, to? Okay, teacher. Oh, Luis. Okay, Luis. Go ahead. Okay. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. My name is Luis Alonso Urias, and I have a uh, 68 years old. And I live in Chalatenango and work in Chalatenango too. Cool. Because uh, uh, I dedicate myself to raising and producing milk with oh, my family. Wow. Great. Yeah. Um, I get up that at four o'clock at, at morning and I really like me, my job. Yes. And my five, my favorite phrase is um, God. I hope in God because God uh, is the better for me. All right. And um, actually, uh, we we hope um, two or three cow is um. um a parir, a nacer, yes, uh, the cow, oh, the real okay. cow, and, and maybe I hope uh, tomorrow and morning oh, oh, with, okay. when when the moon change, okay. because uh, <laughs> it's 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 all time. Okay, very good, nice. I, okay. I, yeah, so. I, 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 uh -huh. I I think Luis wake up so early to milk the cows. Yes. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He said he's he's milking because the cows isn't at it four in the all morning. week, all week, all month, all years. Yeah. So I think every day, when you milk the cows, this, you it, need some techniques. Techniques. Yes. Techniques. See, te yeah. te it's techniques. not you. You use the <laughs> techniques. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. When I was little, um, <clears throat> me and well, my dad used to raise cattle. And um, yeah, I remember that sometimes I will try to to milk them, but <laughs> it was very difficult. I did milk a cow one time, but I was very little. I was like nine or eight years old. But yeah, it is uh, something that requires a lot of knowledge and, and expertise if you're going to do it. And I assume that Luis has been doing it for quite some time, so he might be very professional at milking cows. But <laughs> yeah. very cool. Very interesting. All right. Yeah. Um, so who's going to be next? Me, teacher. Me. Okay. Me. Jo Joaquin, and then who was saying me? Janet. Jenny. Oh, Jenny. Okay. Jenny. So, uh, Jenny and then me, please. Okay. Joaquin, then Jenny, then Janet. Okay. Hello, everybody. Hello. My name Hello. is Joaquin Ramirez. I am um, 43 years old. I live in El Congo City. I work in the, in financial ministry. Mm -hmm. And my favorite phrase in English is um, "Don't give up, be brave." Um, um, and I want to tell you a few um, history. Mm -hmm. In December, exactly in this in next December, exactly, um, I have to, I had to cook, <laughs> but because my my wife uh, has it. Okay. 
Oh, yeah. so you were the cook during the whole yes. of December. Yes. Okay. And you became I, a chef. I never. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I never. Aren't you? Are you guys hiring, Walter? Do you need like a like new staff? You know, like a new chef or something. Yeah. 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 Okay. So yeah. there you have it's one. A ca it's a candidate. When sure. You <laughs> sure. Yes. I tell me. I have never cooked. Oh, really? <laughs> my wife in my life, but but it's a, my first time. No, there's a first time for everything. That's what they yes. say. There's always yes. a first time for everything. So nice. Okay. And yeah. I mean, given that you're here, I assume that you guys survived. You know, you weren't poisoned <laughs> at least. So good. That's yeah. a good thing. Okay. okay, Jenny, let us hear from you. Good evening. My name is Jenny Lisette Campo Martinez. I I'm looking for a job because I, I don't have now. I I actually I am, I am studying English in English corporativo and in painting in my free time. Okay. And my phrase I would like is quality begin with education and finish with education. Mm, very good that is a really nice phrase yeah quality begins with okay it begins with what quality begins with education and finish with education. with education oh okay i heard indication the first time but education and education very good very very good all right uh janet you are up hi hello there um, good afternoon to everyone um, my name is Janet Rodriguez. I'm 38 years old. I live in San Salvador. I work in a law firm and I'm studying with you in English Corporativo. My favorite phrase in English is, uh, in everything you do, give your best. Okay, that's a really good one. Yeah, in everything you do, give your best. Great. Any uh, Anything you would like to tell us about yourself or expressing something that has happened to you, Janet? Um, well, this time uh, when we don't be here studying, I was um, a little um, down because okay. um, I, have, I have had uh, COVID again ah. for a second time. Okay. Oh. And uh, uh, I was a little um, down on my feels on my on my um, You're on. estado de ánimo. Uh -huh. On my um, perdón, ¿cómo era? Estado de ánimo es yeah. el uh, oh, teacher. Behavior. Huh? Behavior? No, no, no. Estado de ánimo es Mood, teacher. Mood, mood, oh. mood, mood. Thank you. Ah, ya está, ya que Ah, ya que ya entró. Yeah, thank ya, you. Ya está tarde. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, so your mood was down. Thank you, Jacqueline. My mood was down because um, I don't know, but uh, I feel when we have a, a large time on stop. Mm -hmm. uh, I have uh, less um, I don't know how to say, but uh, I, I don't have too much um, like things to do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you feel like depressed or, or down. Yeah. Yeah, that happens. It happened to me too. It happened to me too. I was I was like that and I uh, I ended up quitting my job at the university because of that, because I was feeling um, like I was not going anywhere with that. So yeah, I, I understand. I totally understand. All right, but we're back here, you know, and we are back on track trying to learn new things and that, that is great. Okay, um, who is going to be next? Me, Mr. Segovia. Okay, go ahead, please. Uh, good evening for, for everyone. Good evening. Uh, first up. I would like to say that I'm really surprised to see you here. Uh, for everyone, for everyone, he was my teacher on the university. And probably you already know this, but 
he's one of the best teacher if you don't know that but uh when i saw you in the whatsapp group i thought to type you because i wonder what's going on mm -hmm. why mr segovia is over here and i'm i'm glad for that because i know how you work and how you you develop the class and i really love that mm -hmm. uh for everyone my name is douglas Astrubal. um i'm 24 years old and i live in Higuelito city actually i'm not working but i'm looking for a job um uh, my favorite phrase may uh, to be honest i don't have any specific favorite phrase but i will say that my favorite is uh, uh, everything is possible if you if you dreaming it will be um i think that's all that okay. i can say thank you chuba thank you very much so okay. as Druval, for the rest you guys can call him chuba no problem no just just yeah, kidding. yeah yeah, yeah. Yeah, but that's the one no who used problem, to be no my student, my student from the university. So yeah, no, Chuba. Actually, um, I was I had I had had this job for like a year. I was working yeah. at, in a UGB and I was working here, so I was doing both. But now that's I'm only cool. I'm only yeah I'm only working here, but uh, I'm doing other other kind of stuff. But yeah, that's great. Cool. Yeah, it's nice to see you back. Uh, okay, yeah. guys, who is going to be next? Maybe Amika. Oh. Who? Oh, sorry. Jacqueline. Okay, maybe Jacqueline. Sí, ya que ya está, ya que ya entró, aprovechemos porque si no después se sale. Okay, uh, Jacqueline. Indeed. Hello. Okay, uh, Jacqueline. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, my name is Jacqueline. Uh, I'm 24 years old uh, and I live in Armenia, Sonsonate. I continue work in my own business and I study English here. Uh, my favorite phrase in English is fight for your dreams. And I want to say it's a pleasure to see you again. And I hope to, and I hope that we learn more things about this language. All right. Very nice. It is the main goal for all of us. Okay. Um, <laughs> si se fijo, Jacqueline, que ahora ya habla más fluido, ¿eh? Sí, teacher. Okay, you you you're very nice. You very Thank nice. Thank you, teacher. Okay, uh, Amilcar, how about you? You've been very quiet tonight. Okay, hello. Hello Good evening, there. everybody. Good evening. It's a pleasure to see you again, teacher, and everybody. Um, okay. Um, my name is Amilcar Alejandro. Um, I'm years old. I am. I am fifty years old. I'm very old. <laughs> really. 50 or so. Oh my uh, God. The stone is uh, not that bad. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. Um, I live in Mexicano City, San Salvador. Uh, and I work in a bakery. Uh, and I study in, in English Corporativo. Uh, my favorite phrase is in English is uh, okay. I think there are several phrases, but uh, at a moment, I remember about uh, in God with truth. Okay. Uh, I think it's a good, it's a good phrase. Yes, that is uh, actually the phrase from the US. <laughs> in God with trust. In God with trust. Yes. In God with trust. Um, really, I want to learn uh, more English because. Uh, my goal is, is speak 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 it very well and to speak with other people like uh, my my classmates uh, teacher and other people and really i like to get to get a new job because uh, actually i work in a bakery but there are uh, any people uh, any person speak english and mm -hmm. uh, really it's a it's a small bakery so uh, i like to i like to work in another job that i could practice in my english your english yeah. all right okay very nice very nice thank you very much <laughs> okay now maybe okay, we can hear you. from jancy 
Y Jan tipo, yo no quería. <risa> <risa> ok. Hello, can you see? Can, can you hear you? me? Yes, yes, Hello. I can. Sí, yes. yes. Happy New I Year. Okay. Well. Yeah, Happy New Year. We should have started with that, right? <laughs> yes. Okay, my name is Jancy. I don't say my name. Mm. <laughs> no, you didn't. Okay. That's good. <laughs> um, I'm I'm uh, 50 years old, and I'm a wife, a housewife. Okay. Um, I live in Zacatecoluca. Um. Mm, I like to cook a uh, health uh, health food. Mm -hmm. I try. Okay. Um, my favorite word um, phrase. I don't have, but um, don't stop. For me, it's don't stop. Continue, continue, continue. Okay. <laughs> try to try it. Okay. okay. Um, I like to. I I love to be here with you. Um, thank you for for all I love. Okay, great. Very nice. So we're back on track. That is, I have said that like three times tonight, and that is great, actually. Back on track. I don't know if you guys know that, but when you use that, when you say we're back on track, it means that you are um, continuing with the process you started, and for some reason you paused it for a little bit, but now you are on it again. So that means that you're back on track. Okay, uh, and another thing is that I was going to mention, um, don't stop. Continue, continue, continue. It is, it is a, it is a great phrase. Now I have, uh, I, when you said don't stop, I couldn't stop or couldn't bear myself from uh, remembering a song that I love, and I think Amilcar might remember this one. Don't stop believing. I don't know if you know that one, Amilcar, because I remember you, you used to sing for us, uh, for, in some classes. But yeah, don't stop believing. That is a really nice song. Um, that I like to listen to. It's something that pumps me up, you know, my mood. Um, but now let's continue and maybe we can hear from uh, Julia. Yes. Hi. Hello, uh, my name is uh, Julia Patricia Vasquez Santos. I'm 28 years old. I live in Soyapango and I work uh, for Romero Pineda and Associados, that is a law firm. Uh, I'm studying English with all of you. Okay. Uh, my favorite phrase is, uh, don't judge a book by its cover. Mm -hmm. And well, about myself, uh, I like to listen to music a lot. And yes, just that. Okay, great. It's a very nice to meet you. It is very nice to meet you too as well. Thank okay, you. so yeah, don't judge a book, a book by its cover. That is also a very nice phrase. And it's also um, something that we will understand as, um, you know, as, as, a, as a reference to like, always try to go deeper before you start judging someone or something. But uh, let's hear now maybe from Jose Luis. Can we get an introduction from you, Jose Luis? Um, well, uh, hi, hi, my name is Jose Luis Coyer Vidal. I'm 18 years old. I live in Santa Ana and I study in Unica, it's an English cor corporativo. Uh, my favorite phrase in English is a strong focus on what I want. And the current line, I'm um, how can I say? I'm very excited because I I really want to improve my English pronunciation and my vocabulary because I'm studying a, an English career. I mm -hmm. want to be a, an English teacher, and oh, I think right. this can help me. Hopefully, hopefully. Which year are you in right now? Um, this is my second year. Oh, your second year. Okay, very good. But still, you know, for your second year, when I was in my second year, I remember I used to get stuck on almost every single phrase that I was trying to pronounce. Um, but you are doing a very good job. So let me tell you that you are going in a very, very good direction thus far. So Thank great. You. Nice to meet you, Jose Luis. Nice All right. Um, so now we're going to go probably with, oh, we have a raised hand. Roberto. Okay, Roberto. Go ahead. Uh, you hear me? 
Can you hear yes. me? Yes, yes, confirm. Okay. Uh, my name is Roberto Guevara. I am 33 years old. I live in Lourdes, Colombia. I work in International Airport. Uh, my favorite phrase in English is nothing is impossible if a uh, good plan. And express myself is always want to be a soccer player. Okay, so the dream we had from from young, from the young age, you know, wanting to be a soccer player, many of us couldn't achieve it. But that's good. That's good. Okay, so you said you work at the airport. That is very interesting as well. We might just talk about that later. Okay, um, and now maybe we can hear from Helen. Hi, good evening. Good evening. My name is Helen Guerra and I'm 22 years old. I currently live in here in Chicago, and right now I'm working in South I've been there before. I've been there before and it happened to me once as well. I cannot show you this song because it is a it's a rap song, but um it is very, very, very fast. And I remember that I I used to listen to the song very often and almost never got neither the idea, neither the lyrics. I didn't understand much of it. Um but yeah. Wait. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, sorry. Okay, so yeah, I didn't understand the lyrics or didn't get the idea. But one time while I was riding the bus, I was listening to that song and I was able to understand what the rapper was saying. I felt amazing. I felt like I was I was flying through clouds because I was like actually achieving something. So yeah, I can totally understand how it feels, you know, to um to get them to understand something that you like. But all right, moving on, uh, maybe we can hear now from Lourdes. Lourdes Hernandez. Hello. Hello there. <laughs> Sorry. Um, hi, my name is Lourdes Hernandez. I live in Soyapango and I am 32 years old. I work for a law firm too. And I don't have like a really favorite phrase in English, but one I like recently is uh, nothing changes if nothing changes. Um, it's very simple, but I think it's but kind deep. of powerful. Yeah, <laughs> yes. Very deep. <laughs> and about myself, I, I like to read. I like to watch uh, movies, sitcoms, um, I like to listen to music too, uh, almost in English. For me, English is it's a very nice discovery in my life because I think it opens you doors to, to new knowledge, to new hobbies, new things that you don't often find in Spanish, mm -hmm. uh, unfortunately. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, that's... That's about my tip. <laughs> okay, very good. So yeah, nothing changes if nothing changes. I, I, I got stuck on that one. And it is really deep. I can tell you that. Very, very deep. ¿Saben qué? Ahorita me acabo de acordar, dije esa frase. Sí, I can tell you that. Y no, le, no saben lo que mi mente se figuró. Les juro que me dio asco casi decirlo. Uh, because I remember there is a public figure. Alguno de ustedes maybe know that, knows that person. But there is an a public figure in English who used to say that a lot. And uh, I don't like that guy at all. Um, he used to be a president of the United States and he used to say that a lot. I can tell you that. And I, I don't know why I remember I used to hate that phrase. And just now when I said it, I was like, ah, disgusting. But okay, moving on. Um, Julio, 
How about you, Julio? Well, um, uh, first of all, I would like to apologize for coming late to the class. All right. You know, I have a tight schedule. And I, ido a la, a la clase, a la, something. Habla equivocada. I, I was, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, let me introduce myself. My name is Eduardo, eh, Julio Eduardo, but I prefer if you can call me Eduardo. Eduardo, okay. I'm 40, 43 years old. I live in San Salvador. I work as operation manager in security company. Well, uh, I decided to take this, this opportunity. It was a huge opportunity for me. It's a great advantage for me for improve my English as well. Uh, because um, I would like to polish my English and learn more. That's why I'm, that, that is the main reason I'm here. And talking about my favorite, favorite, favorite phrase in English is goals. Why not? Because I consider myself uh, a guy with long terms and short terms goals. Uh, <clears throat> express myself. Well, what I can tell you. So as my the other of my classmate, he said, uh, indeed, English open doors for, for if you want to, in the future, if you want to sample in my work, I have to the chance to speak with uh, English speaker person. Mm -hmm. And that's is the reason, as I told you, as I told you a while ago, that I'm here and really nice to meet you guys. And thank you for giving the chance to, to join to this, to this group. No, it's great. It is great to have you here. All right. And actually, we were talking about that earlier, you know, polishing, because, yeah, when we are like um, learning and we come to a point when we're in an advanced group, um, I think that's when we have to start looking deeper into what we have achieved. You know, we now feel um, like we know more vocabulary, like we can express ourselves a little better. But there are still some details, some things that we have to polish. And that is the main idea here. You know, we have to try and be more confident, but at the same time, be more accurate when we're speaking. So try to yeah. um, calibrate our English in a way that sounds natural and also that gets to sound, um, why not? even try to achieve sounding native like you know so that is one of the things of the main goals that we have so probably or hopefully you have come to the right place eduardo okay thank you so much you're very welcome now we're gonna hear maybe from luis luis mesquita Okay, seems like Luis is not uh, reachable at this time. Oh, there you are. There you are. Excuse me, uh, I'm driving in that moment. Okay, no problem. We can get to back to you in a little bit. Okay, thanks. Okay, no, you're very welcome. Be careful. Okay, fines nowadays are very expensive, so be careful, people. Okay, Daniel, uh, how about you, Daniel? Hi, good evening. Hey there, good evening. It's a pleasure to see you again. It's a pleasure as well. Okay. My name is Daniel Martinez. I am 37 year old and I live in San Martin. I work as an illustrator, uh, like a freelancer. I have been studying English for one year and a half. And my favorite phrase in English is, um, I don't know, I, I don't have any favorite phrase until the moment. Um, I consider myself a very creative uh, person who really enjoys music, reading, uh, watching movies or series, playing video games, and among other things. All right, very good. Welcome back on track. And uh, now let's see if we can hear from Catherine. Catherine Sanchez. Hi. Hello there. Hi, I'm Catherine, um, I'm 30 years old. I work for Concentric Global Services. I'm new here, so I'm just trying to get everything together. So I hope that you may have a little patience with me. I'm trying right. to get better with my grandma because it's something that I think is missing for me. I don't have any kind of favorite praise in English. However, 
I can think something about my favorite Disney movie and that it says, keep moving forward. That is kind of the saying that you said before. And express myself. What I can say is that I'm pretty excited about the Super Bowl on, on Sunday, the 12th. Okay. Mm -hmm. I love Super Bowl. I love American football. So English helped me out to understand the game better than Okay. Yeah, that's, that's something that not many people here in our culture actually like. And uh, in my case, I got exposed to all of these sports since I was like very little. I remember how I got really excited. I don't know if you guys remember any of this, but I was really excited when I saw the Cardinals of uh, St. Louis win, um, you know, the, the, their first tournament in like 25 years. It was like on 2016, something like that. But it was it was a while ago. Uh, and after that, I remember that I started following all of the sports that are practiced in the U.S. Then I started following. And in that sense, I actually failed to become a fanatic uh, or actually became a fanatic um, of LeBron James. I wasn't really a follower of a specific team. At first, I said, yes, I am a Miami Heat fan. But then when he went to the Cavs, I was I was actually a Cap fan. Then I turned into a Lakers fan. So I've been following the guy, not the teams. Um, and then it got me into um, American football. When I had the chance to move or to live in the U.S. for a couple months, I fell even more in love with the game. And uh, yeah, it's something that not many people enjoy just yet in, in our country. But um, you know, with time, more and more people are falling into understanding it, which is the first aspect of it, and then following it. But yeah, I am also pretty excited. Uh, it, it's going to be my, I think it's going to be my sixth year uh, watching the Super Bowl. And I always like to get my friends together. They don't understand it, but I like to get them <laughs> together. We make hot dogs, we make um, uh, wings, and, and most of the things that people normally have in the u.s so that we can watch it together so yeah it's fun for me for them it's only seeing me having fun but you know they always come so i think it's it's good it's good for them so yeah who are you supporting um catherine um i don't know yet i mean i like both i know they both are good um it's not my team. My team were the Seahawks. They left like the first playoff week. Mm -hmm. However, um, maybe I, I, maybe Kansas City. Maybe that's. I mean, I will enjoy it because it's the best. It's the best game on the season. But yeah. I hope Mahomes. Mahomes wins again. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, he's pretty good. Yeah, I'm going for him. So yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, so last but not least, I think we are only missing uh Michelle. So let's hear from you, Michelle. And thank you very much for sharing, Catherine. Hello, good evening. Good evening. My name is Michelle Carranza. I am 23 years old. I live in Santa Tecla. I work in Brie. My favorite phrase in English is nothing is possible. And I am a friendly person who I like to uh, listen to other person. And I love of uh, animal much <laughs> okay very nice okay very very good so we have gotten to the end of getting to all to know all of you guys now we still have a few minutes to get to talk about well some specifics of ourselves now this is a personality survey um i hope you guys know yourselves very well because we're going to be trying to evaluate how we roll on these specifics now i uh would like you to answer with the following phrases um for example i think you guys have seen this before uh it's strongly disagree which would be like ah dang it okay there we go this will be like the um, deepest disagreement you may have with one of the statements uh, that we're going to be having here in front of you. And we're also going to be um, needing you to reply with um, probably just disagree. Yeah, disagree or uh, neither of them. 
Uh, and we also have agree and strongly agree. Okay, so I'm a little bit rusty here with uh, my typing. All right, so these are the possible answers or the, the, the phrases that I would like you guys to use on answering um, to these phrases. But what do these phrases have in storage for us? Well, you know that very quite often we face situations that are unfamiliar to say the least. And uh, when we get to those situations, we have some feelings. And some of these situations may be, for example, I'm, I'm, I'm not afraid of giving speeches in front of the class. Well, are you one of those? Are you one of those people who is willing to just take the lead and whenever there is like something that has to be explained to the rest of the class, you're going to take the lead and, 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 and uh, stand in front of everyone, or in this case, just um, turn on your camera and like be there in front of everyone and just give it a speech because it's not the same answering a question to give it a speech. When you're going to give a speech, of course, you're going to have to be following different points and you have to make different statements. Um, so yeah, are you one of those outgoing people who are not afraid of giving a speech as well? We are going to be answering to that in just a bit. Then we have, I enjoy going to parties, parties when I don't know everyone. Are you one of those people who feel ashamed when you are invited to a party and you don't know anyone there? Or are you one of those who actually enjoys doing that? You know, who is always up for the ride and whenever there's a party, well, you're good to go. You don't have any problem if you don't know anyone or you're also okay if you know some of the people but not everyone at said party. Um, how about I avoid expressing my feelings and ideas in public? Well, are you one of those or are you one of those who likes to be listened? You know, because some of us are kind of shy. We pretend to be outgoing, but at the same time, whenever we have like to face situations where we have to express ourselves, we tend uh, to become more shy than we would in a regular situation. Like if we were, for example, with just a uh, small group of people than when we are in public. I am saying that because I'm one of those. I am one of those that will say, agree to this. I avoid expressing my feelings and ideas in public. Normally, I will be just like, um, if they ask me to do it, I will do it. But it's not like I'm willing to do it as I have seen some people do. Uh, now, do I insist on making my own decisions? Like, for example, um, if I have people around me who want to get, provide me with a, advice on what to do, what would be like the best solution depending on previous experiences that they have, am I one of those people who is always like, nah, I don't want to listen to you. I want to have my own experience. I want to face the world myself and, and see how it goes. Or are you one of those who will be like, um, actually, I might take your advice. Um, how about I don't mind giving up uh, my time to help other people? Well, are you one of those who likes to help people? Or do you only prefer um, to help them when it is convenient to you? Or are you one of those who doesn't even like to help people at all? You know, I'm not going to judge maybe the rest, but I'm not going to judge. Uh, I never worry about getting places on time. In my case, I do. And I have learned to do even more now that I have a sister who has grown and now she's a lady and she enjoys being to places late. You know, I have um, grown even more worried about getting uh, places on time. Like I have to start asking her to get ready two hours prior to the to the event or prior to the arrival time. Um, then... I always feel like going dancing. Well, that will be, I strongly disagree for me, or maybe I disagree. Uh, but yeah, I am not a good dancer. Therefore, I, of course, am not always willing to go dancing. How about I can't stand being in a messy, disorganized room? Well, are you one of those people that whenever you guys see something that is too messy, um, you just want to get out of there? Or, for example, do you want to actually fix the mess well in my case that will be the second option whenever i i am in like a messy place in a messy situation what i try to do is like you know like organize the mess a bit maybe not fix it all up but 
sorry, try to fix it at least for a bit. And the uh, the, the last one is going to be, I prefer telling people how I feel, even if it's embarrassing. Well, yes, I do. I do because that is something that I always ask from people. You know, if you don't feel okay, if you feel like I'm doing something wrong, if you feel like um, there is something missing, like something that should be done in a different way, tell me. You know, I uh, that's why most of the time during the lessons, um, like in the middle of our course, I will have like a chance or like a like a uh, cute um spot there when i'm going to ask you like how is everything going is is it working for you is it what you expected or do you want me to change anything because yeah i prefer to let people know how i feel so that you know it is some open um relationship but now uh vamos a ver un par de ejemplos voy a preguntarles una a cada uno sí así que no van a ser todas para todos al menos no ahorita pero al menos ustedes generen su propia idea verdad do you agree do you disagree Um, are you like a strongly agree with this or neither? Like you're okay if you're like in the middle. Okay, so we're going to start with, uh, let me see. Luis. So Luis, um, tell me, Luis, do you enjoy going to parties where you don't know everyone? What do you think? Are you in agreement with this or in disagreement? Luis Alonso, perdón, Luis Alonso Urias. So do you enjoy going to parties where you don't know everyone or are you like not willing to go if you don't know people at the party? Oh, wait, I think you're still on mute. Okay. There you go. Well, I I, I agree because okay. uh, when, when I'm going to the party, I think uh, all people are okay in this moment, but... Mm -hmm. And you can I, meet I, new people, right? Yes, I meet the people, yes. Um, and and when, when in, in this moment, I, I don't know uh, everyone. Mm -hmm. But yeah. you're still enjoying your time. Yes. Okay, good. Very good. Yeah, you're going to grow to like this team, I betcha. Okay, um, how about uh, Julia? Tell me, Julia, are you one of those people who avoid expressing their feelings and ideas in public or do you agree or disagree with this statement to avoid expressing feelings or ideas in public? I strongly agree. I am actually a, a very quiet person and I don't really like to express my my feelings in public i prefer to share it with a a person that i trust okay very nice good 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 now let's hear from um eduardo how about you eduardo are you one of those people who don't mind giving up time to help others giving part of your time to help others Magaña? <laughs> Sorry, because I signed up with my name, Julio, my first name. Sorry. No, but you, you said that you wanted me to call you Eduardo. So I. I, uh, I yeah, 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 yeah. Well, that's great. Uh, yeah. yeah okay. So are you one uh, of those. Can you repeat don't... the question again, please? Yes. Are you one of those who don't mind giving up your time to help other people? Well, um... Well, I consider uh, one one of one person that I really enjoy when I helping other people, and really I don't mind if I have to help people. So I remember three days ago when I went to the supermarket to do my grocery shopping, and I saw a, a elderly girl, a woman. Uh, she was crossing through the pedestrian. With the pedestrians, uh, the zebra, a uh hot -huh, zebra. Mm -hmm. So, and I helped her to cross the the street. Mm -hmm. So, well, in other words, I really I don't mind giving up my time to help other people. I okay. really enjoyed that. I really enjoyed that. Okay, very good. 
Now, how about Helen? Do you agree or disagree or strongly agree or strongly disagree with the idea of always feeling like going dancing? Well, for me, I totally disagree because I consider that I cannot dance. So for me, it's like difficult when I go to any party and my friends are asking, hey, let's go to dance. But I'm like, I can't. I mean, maybe I can, I can do it, but when I'm alone. But in public, I totally don't dance. Okay, good. Very good. So you're Michael Jackson in your room, huh? All right. And the last person or last uh, comment of the night is going to go for um, Catherine. Tell me, Catherine, are you one of those people who can't stand being in a messy or disorganized room? Or are you okay with the mess? I strongly disagree. I can't be in a mess. Okay. Wait. Oh, in this case, I think it will be you cannot be in a mess or you are okay with the mess. No, I am I can't be in you a can't. mess. Also, oh, it yes. will be you are strongly agree then because it I was strongly a, it agree. Was a, yes, I'm yeah, sorry. Because it was a negative yes. sentence. All right. Very good. Um, so guys, thank you very much. We have made it to the end of the first lesson. Uh, well, tonight was basically um, only introductions. Tomorrow, we're going get to get to work into more exciting things. Um, now, let me tell you that I think, or it is supposed at least, that we're going to be working on Friday of this week and probably next week as well. Um, but I'll keep you posted on that because I'm not totally sure just yet. But that's the idea, at least, uh, that we're going to be working on this and also next Friday. But for now, thank you very much for your attention and participation. It is great to see you um, to the ones that I have seen before. And it is great to meet you, you know, to the ones who I just met. So have a really good night and see you tomorrow, everyone. Bye-bye for now. Thank you. Bye, everybody. Bye. Thank you.